there everybody how y'all doing thank you for coming back as always i appreciate it i really hope you're having a wonderful day or night welcome back to my channel as always i am deluxe all right got a new transformer today yeah this is the war for cybertron siege uh impactor this is the single one i have the three pack whatever coming but anyways before that Go hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you like the channel, if you like the review, all that wonderful stuff. Hit that little bell and notifies new content. You also can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. It's all in the description. You know it's easy peasy, so let me squeeze it. And as always, shirt, shirt, shirts for sale. Uh-huh. They're in the description. I got three new ones. Do me a big favor. Check them out. If you like one, buy one. All right. We all need new shirts. Check out Mr. Terry Wonk. He's at Terry's TFF's Club. A wonderful man. Awesome guy to deal with, man. Easy site, man. It's easy to navigate. Really nice. Awesome. He's got everything for you, man. He's got Legends. He's got Third Party. He's got Hasbro. He's got knockoffs. Man, he's got you covered. Transformer galore. Man, free shipping, fast shipping. Wonderful man to deal with, man. Tell him Deluxe sent you. He might even give you a virtual hug. All right. Mm -mm. Mmm, smells like plastic goodness. All right, let me check this fella out, get him all that wonderful stuff, transform him, get to know him a little better. I'll come right back and I'll tell you what I think. All right. Here is Siege War for Cybertron Impactor in his alt mode, which is a tank. Pretty cool. I like it. Very nice. Got the little scooper, little pooper scooper things. Very nice. They're painted silver. Got some Cybertron gook. Some Cybertron mud, whatever you want to call it. But you got some paint up there, very nice. You got the treads right there. They don't move. You got some yellow paint right up here. It's all right. You can tell it's uh, painted over the purple. Because you can tell that the purple is kind of seeping out a little bit. You got yellow paint right here and up here too. So very nice. And same on the side. The back. He does have ports so you can add on Battle Masters or whatever you want to add into there. You got this thing up here too. You can move it. If you want to, this thing moves around. The turret does turn side to side. It will go all the way around. And you can go up and down with this thing too. With this weapon. So pretty cool. Underneath, cleans up pretty good. It's got wheels. That's awesome. But it will roll just fine. So very nice on the alt mode. I like it. Oh, this purple right up here is painted too. Got a nice shine to it. A little sheen to it. So, not bad at all for the tank mode for Impactor from Siege. All right. All right, quick size comparison. There's the Siege size white for you right there. Very nice. You got the uh, Bumblebee from Beast Hunters. And Classics Tracks, as always. And we'll throw in some uh, Wheelie from uh, Time Returns. And you got a uh, Iron Factory size swap right there for Legends for scale. All right, and as always, Crapagonics, a bottle of water, and some crappy toilet paper. All right, here is Impactor from the Siege line. This is his bot mode. Let's go over his uh, weapons he's got real quick. He's got this little spear thing. It's also a gun. He can hold it in his hand just fine. But the cool thing is, you can move that around, and you can have a nice little spear hand. Very cool. Both sides do it. You just flip it around like that. That is pretty neat. I like that. That's a cool little feature. And then he got his blaster. Uh, no paint, just gray plastic. Same for this. Got some little waffle in this and this. And this and this. <laughs> Jeebus. But yeah, he can hold it in his hand just fine. Both hands, really cool. You can set it over here. He does have ports. Two ports right there on the side. He's got port above here on his uh, duck blaster. And he's got port right there and right there. So pretty cool. All right, let's look at this figure real quick. Very beautiful head sculpt. I like that. He's kind of got a little snarl, a little, you know, grr kind of face. But yellow paint, purple paint, silver paint, red eyes. So very nicely painted on there. Uh, side to side, nothing up very much and nothing down. That's a shame. A little attitude right there for you. Wish there was better head movement, uh, movement for him, but it's beautifully painted. I like that. Moving on down to the chest, it is yellow for the his little titties. Got the nice Autobot symbol like that, shattered glass, whatever you want it to be. Um, nice, uh, there's some paint right there on his abdomen. He looks like a robot face on his chest. Take me to your leader. So moving on down to the arms, 
very nice and go all the way to there, all the way around. Very nice uh, bicep swivel. Uh, he can go in and out for the hands. Um, is any of that painted? It looks like it might be painted. I think it's just plastic. But you do got some waffles in there. All right, moving on down. He does have. A, it's not a waist swivel. It's an abdomen swivel. <laughs> I guess that's weird. I wish they would have moved down a little further, but you know, and he does have an ab crunch. It is cause of transformation, but hey, it's there. I'm gonna give it to him so he can get some little dynamic poses. That's awesome. You can do the Van Dam, very nice. Up to here, up to there. Uh, not a thigh swivel, kind of above the knee swivel. Well, you know, it's there. You got yellow paint right there on the kneecaps and right here on the uh, lower leg. That's pretty cool. Uh, I forgot to mention on uh, in the alt mode, he does have you know little blasters right there, but that's all paint. Uh, not paint. I'm sorry, that's gray plastic. So this I don't get. Uh, this was a fail. I mean, they shouldn't. Come on now, that's just big waffles right there. Doesn't need to be there because when he transforms, he just you know you know puts together the legs right there. So why why even hollow those out? I don't know. But anyway, moving on down. You got the space space of mud right there. I saw that in alt mode. So he does have a total tilt down, nothing up. He does have a uh, rocker this way. He has a big rocker this way, but you really don't need it like that. But So that's pretty cool. And then the back, you know, nicely done. He's got a little backpack, but not much. Got a little waffleness in there. It cleans up pretty good on the back on that stuff. And this moves, you know, if you want to. The duck, the duck bill blaster. So yeah, that is Impactor with his uh, articulation and sculpt. There's some Voyagers, Deluxes, and Legends from other Hasbro lines. Scale. All right, leader class, some Voyagers, Deluxes, Battlemasters, and Micromasters from the Siege line. Scale. He's pretty big, man. He's bigger than uh, Ironhide. Crapagonics, bottled water, some crappy toilet paper, and squeaks. Duh. All right, let's talk about Warp Cybertron Siege Impactor. I really like him. I like his size, man. He's bigger than Ironhide, and Ironhide is one of the bigger deluxes, so very good on the size and everything. He really, He's really towering over, you know, he's got that presence and everything. I like that. Alt mode, I really like. I love the tank mode. I love that the turret, you know, the turret can turn and the barrel can go up and down, so that's pretty cool. It's got the space mud on the side and everything. I like that. I think it gives a character. A lot of people don't like that, but I think it looks really cool. So very nice on the alt mode. I love the tank mode. Transformation, real easy. I love how the legs do a 180 kind of thing on it so it can transform pretty cool so transformation is really easy follow the instructions you should have no troubles with that bot mode I really like it's pretty cool the one thing that really bothers me is the big waffles in the legs no reason for that to be there at all that just really it's an eyesore I, I really don't understand because the transformation you just put the legs together so there really was no reason not to fill that gap so I don't understand why they didn't do that. But other than that, really nice on the bot mode. Uh, the sculpt's really nice. I think it's really good. I love the head sculpt. The paint on it, you know, it's pretty good. A lot of paint on the head, and I love that. The head sculpt I really like a lot. You know, where the yellow is, you know, over the purple, you can tell that it's not all the way, you know, maybe needed a second coat or something, because you can tell that there's purple coming out in it and everything. But, you know, I, would I wish some more paint was on it? Yeah, I wish they would have painted the weapons. That would have gave it more, a little more character and everything. I love when they do that, but they didn't but other than that the paint you know is pretty decent you know it's got, got some purple paint and some uh, like some space mud and everything so pretty good on the paint I just wish there were more uh, articulation I like the articulation but it's weird in some spots like I said it doesn't have like a waist swivel it has like an abdomen swivel so that's pretty weird and the way the uh, ankle uh, rocker does you know that's kind of weird too but you know it's got a, a ab crunch and it does have some you know nice articulation and everything so you can get them some dynamic poses that's really cool i wish the head movement was a little better too you can only go side to side and up and down a little bit at best and just you know because he has the ab crunch he can't lift his head up so he just looks down so you know that's kind of a, a fail right there and everything but other than that the articulation is pretty good so overall i really like him i think he's a great bot i think he's a great impactor and i love the size and i love the transformation so it's a fun bot you can add on battle masters like i said the playability with these things are just so much fun so overall i really like this impactor just don't like the legs really ugly all right i'm gonna get on the floor i'm gonna do some floor time won't you join me and be my neighbor all right all right all right I am the bad, bad member, Jim Impactor. 
Oh, wait, everybody gets scared. There's a wrecker right there. Uh-huh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? What is that between your legs? What do you mean? Man, Sharktacom can fit in there. What do you mean? Look at that. He can fit in your leg. Look at all them waffles. Ha-ha, <laughs> look at that. You ain't so bad. You got a duck bill for a cannon? Come on now, quack, 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 quack. Hey, stop making fun of me. Ugh. Here I come, Poopa Scooper, to save the day. Ah. What are you talking about? Ooh, I'll show you this. I'll kick you with my hollow legs. Well, I can hear that. What? You hear that? Yes, yeah, the wind blowing in your wind in your legs. Oh, quit making fun of me, chicken. Ugh. All right. I had to talk about the man. Ain't no reason for that. Come on now, Hasbro. You're better than that. Yeah, some some will say they're not, but uh, you gotta save money somewhere. All right, well that was my review over the Siege War for Cybertron Impactor. Really good. I like him. Just that you know the legs are an eyesore. Other than that, he's a fun bot. Easy transformation. Got some good articulation. Very nice. Very nice. All right, hit that like, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you like the review. If you like my channel, it's all good. I really I really appreciate that. And I guess I'll see you on the next Siege War for Cybertron review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro. And good night, folks. Yeah. Wind beneath my wings. Look at them. Ugh.